black wire for a power wire. <laughs> I can't even say it. You, and then the blue wire will go to the fuel pump. So. Huge progress has been made. Let me show you. I don't really know where I'm at. If I started this video before or not, uh, my camera died the other night. Or no, I didn't actually have it, but we a lot of progress has been made. So let me show you. I know it looks like a mess, but I have this relay here and we were trying to figure out how to get power to the ECU to then try and crank the car. Great thing about it is, is with this, so weird thing about it was that I was trying to figure out was how to get power to the ECU. I had cut two wires over there, but I wasn't like entirely sure about it. And so I had to ask Kevin and Chase was actually here too. So he was helping out. So I tapped into it and when I turned the key on, the dash came on, but the ECU didn't have power. So we were trying to figure that out. And long story short, after trying a few different pins, we found the right wire. So then we splice into that. ECU has power, dash has power, everything turns on. And then also we figured out the starter. So the thing is with the starter is I had it hooked up to the stock uh, like chassis wire harness for the starter and it wasn't cranking. So we were trying to figure that out. So then what we figured is, so Kevin, uh, we had a power, we were using Kevin's power probe. So then we disconnected the wire that I had coming from the starter to the chassis harness and we just blipped it with 12 volts from the power probe. I didn't know you could actually do that. And it started just cranked right up. I'll put a video in here. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> this is for you, Carl. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, I have these. I know a lot of people feel a little indifferent about these sometimes, but I'm going to use these to attach my fans to the radiator, plug my fans in, and then I'll go in the car. And since I have the pins, I can pin the fans into the ECU and then I can do power and ground for them as well. So that'll be good. All right, got all of them in here. Fans are... Fans are up, not going anywhere. And uh, yeah, so now I just gotta go back, cut these, and then we'll go in the car. Okay, moving in the car. It's spicy, I know. But this wire right here is for both of my fans. So I just, I thought I had the right pin before. Cut this off, strip it, put a new pin on which is these bad boys, a barrel pin, I'm guessing that's what it's called, and put it in the ECU, and then do power and ground. So what I've been doing is I just wrapped up and put eyelets on my, these are my fan grounds. Uh, this is my fan power. So I'll set those over there. And then this is the power to the relay that powers my ECU. And this is the ground to the relay for my ECU. So both of these are done. And then now I'm gonna go inside and clean up some of the wiring. Because I have, let me show you guys. So, I have all these wires and all of them need to touch and they're exposed, so I need to clean those up. I also have wires there that I need to clean up. But then once I do that, all that would be like technically like finalized. Okay, I don't remember where we left off again. There's gonna be like a bunch of parts in this video that start off like that, but I think I do remember. So I put on the fans, the fans are mounted in their correct spots. I ran the wiring for those 
Will's playing with cardboard on the floor over there. Not really sure what that's about. But, so, I finished up the wiring and I finalized all that from the starter. Everything for the starter except this wire because I actually need to order a button for this. But, since we're not going to run this bracket anymore and we're not running AC, I actually just talked to JDL and I'll be able to exchange out the side mount AC and alternator mount for just the AC or for the alternator. I got all my riders ran for this. This isn't going to stay here. This is not permanent. This is just a ground that I made. But I'll switch it out and go to the other side of the transmission. So that'll be great uh, once my wire comes on Thursday. Got all my fuses and everything ran, relays and everything is good over here. Inside, looking at the spaghetti mess. It's good. I did the stuff that Ryan asked me to do uh, where I had to switch around some pins. And then I actually got my relays in. So what I can start to do for that is I'll be able to wire up my fuel, wire up my fuel pumps. So I can wire up my fuel pumps for this. And then I'll be able to take these and at least put them where they need to go for like power ground until I get the wires on Thursday. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, so basically I have to wire this up as a normal off relay with ground trigger which is this first diagram here meaning that i take this two of them are going to go to like a power wire one of them is going to go right here and then one of them is going to go back to the ecu i can't tell you exactly which that one of that is but i have it in my notes so this red one goes to the battery this white one goes to the battery so these two They'll kiss, they'll go together, and then they'll go all the way to the battery with the fuse at the end of them. Then, this black wire will go to the ECU, and then the blue wire will go to the fuel pump. So, like that. Oh, wait, no. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. Uh, wait a minute. Something's not right here. So, one... Oh God, I'm gonna have to ask Kevin. But basically, it'll go from here to the few, the relay to the chassis, like that. So yeah, so I'm assuming the blue one will go like, a, and then it'll go, or actually, and then a, something like that. I don't know, I gotta ask Kevin. All right, it's dark as hell in here, but I got my ground wires hooked up for the fuel pumps. Now all I have to do is wait for my wires so I can run from the ECU back here and from the battery back here and then I'll be able to prime the fuel pumps and see if everything works properly so that should be good so we'll do that on Thursday when all that stuff comes in but we're making progress we're making progress it's going good so I can't complain so we're almost there Thursday I'll be able to wire up the fuel pumps and see if they prime correctly so yeah okay I finally got all my wire so I got this and I got some fuses and I got some battery wire to make some battery grounds and then I even got this to split off to my two fuel pumps now Kevin has a let me explain something to you about this build have I ordered the right wires yes have I hold on have I ordered them for the correct colors no, but they will still work, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I have black wire for a power wire. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. I have black wire as a power wire that's then going to flip back to two red wires that are powering both fuel pumps. <laughs> I do have a red wire that's a ground wire. It's all going to work out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to wire this up today, and my fuel pumps are going to make the noise that we're looking for. Okay, in my head, 10 feet sounded like a lot of wire, but there's a chance, like, maybe, just maybe, that 10 feet of wire may... We'll see, but in order to get this process rolling, we have to go steal tools from Kevin. Never suspect a thing. But first, 
I'm gonna move all this stuff. This is for my spark plug stuff. So we're also gonna make spark plug wires today as well. I have new spark plugs. Oh my god. That I'm gonna swap out too. So that's good. And this is the type of stuff we're talking about. This is a ground wire. These are power wires. These are both for my fan. This is power for my ECU. And this is a ground uh, for my ECU. See, I know. I know these things. But now I need to run this wire all the way back there. So I'll figure that out somehow. Let me give you a little update of what I'm doing here. I got right there, I got both relays put together. I have the ground wires over there, grounded to the car and grounded to the top of the fuel pump assembly. Now what I need to do is I need to then run the two power wires from the top of the fuel pump to the relays, or connect the relays to the fuel pump and then I'll have the power wire connected to that butt connector to the two relays and that'll be able to run power and then I'll need to run a signal wire to those two blue wires from the ECU. So we're pretty much there, just a little bit more. All right, so I got power wire ran all the way up under here around to the battery, looking good. So I got my power wire hidden all the way around. I was thinking about running it down across and around, but then I thought it would just be easier to come since the ground was over there. Straight down. And then under this seat, under back of the center console, and then out to here. So then what I'll do is I'll connect this to this, and then all I'll have to do now is just tie, or actually, I can't tie these both in together because I have to run them, I have to run them separately because we're gonna run two, we're gonna run my pump stage so that it doesn't warm my fuel tank. So, because I had two big pumps in there, and so what Ryan said and Kevin even suggested is staging them so that we have one pump that comes on, then a second pump for higher demand or more fuel. So at idle, it'll be like one pump and just kind of like cruising around, it'll be like one pump. But then like full throttle or like really pushing the car, we'll run two pumps. So I'll run both of these wires up and around to the ECU as well. Connect this power wire and wham bam, thank you ma'am. Technically, technically, we should have working fuel pumps. I'll probably go and get fuel today and just throw a little bit in there so I can see what happens. All right, so a lot of progress has been made. I made spark plug wires, thanks to Chase. He taught me how to do it. So we got some spark plug wires here. We're ready to, you know, spark it up. And then back here, I got my fuel pumps wired up. So they're wired up. I got the wires ran the same way around the power wire. They go all the way over there. We're ready to kind of turn this car on, but I don't have fuel in the car, so not gonna try that. And then uh, Ryan's here, so we'll load a base map on here at some point. And I'll keep working. We'll get the oil pan on. The oil pickup comes today, actually. And then uh, we're like that much closer to starting it, so. <clears throat> If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button because I think I make decent content. Chase thinks I make decent content. Chase taught me how to wire this stuff up too, along with uh, Sensei Kevin. Kevin gives me all the tools. So not all the tools, some of the tools, but the tools that I don't have here. Kevin has them in his toolbox and I just go and take them. So thanks, Kevin. And thank you to Chase for teaching me how to make the spark plug wires. So if you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.